Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about Medusa.js. Some call it an Shopify alternative, but I would rather call it a Magento alternative. So once upon a time, uh, Magento, like 10 or 15 years ago, dominated the uh, enterprise e-commerce. And history might repeat itself in my opinion, with Medusa.js. Medusa so, Magento, uh, in historical context, was the only um, true enterprise e-commerce platform. And Magento succeeded technically and basically because it was open source, it was customizable, and it was community-driven. So, this all three also applies to Medusa.js. What I think, even though it is written in Next.js, uh, I think the community is growing. And uh, I think this tool or this um, platform is something you should consider adding to your toolbox. So... What I like about this Medusa.js is that it is like a Laravel approach to development. I've tried, trust me, I've tried to build um, e-commerce subscription uh, app for my previous uh, supplement, supplement business. And I wish I had this when I built it because this, is, this has battery uh, included philosophy, just like Laravel. And it has a uh, robust backend capabilities and it's really developer friendly. Why you should uh, consider uh, looking at this at least is that um, this is really good for freelancers or agency work. Um, personally, I believe that there will be a rising demand for uh, Medusa.js uh, expertise and the projects will the projects available will grow over time and because this is a highly customizable um, platform every customer needs some sort of customization so the typical project budget for this uh, for for these projects are larger let me explain why I think this is different uh, to Shopify, for example. Well, first of all, Shopify is really good with uh, traditional uh, B2C business, but it's really simple. You have all the um, shopping capabilities in there and you build some apps. But once you want to go deeper, let's say you want to build a B2B business or B2B uh, application, it won't be easy with Shopify. Or you want some sort of um, direct-to-consumer implementation, it's kind of difficult if you want some customization to your orders. For example, if you want some sort of different combination of orders, like uh, with different logic. So the business I was working before was a e-commerce subscription business. It is like a pill pack, but for supplements and vitamins. This is the complexity with uh, Shopify that it's not capable of doing. So let's say you ship on a pill every month and the pill content is customizable by the customer every month. You could technically implement this with uh, Shopify, but you would need to jump hoops and have some difficulties to just implement simple things. Anyways, my point was that if you were to implement anything uh, related to uh, e-commerce that is abnormal it's super difficult to do with uh, shopify because it's kind of, the admin module is closed so you cannot do everything that you would li like 
and you have to be, uh, basically play by their balls. Most people just combine and inst install different plugins to make it work, but the, the user experience is never the best. Basically, you can implement uh, direct-to-consumer implement implementations like the pill pack, B2B solutions. You can have authentication uh, for businesses that have different discount tiers. Um, or you can, uh, let's say, if you have an online and offline store and you have multiple uh, offline stores, you can implement that with uh, Medusa.js. And also you can, uh, with Medusa... Uh, modules, you can build your own marketplace. Try build your marketplace with Shopify. It's impossible. For example, this is uh, uh, one of their uh, case studies. They, they, they show, show you the custom checkout flows that you can implement that is not possible with Shopify or WooCommerce. So uh, consider this to your business toolkit, whether you're doing the agency model or you, you're just consulting. Uh, you could sell your implementation by doing coding, maintenance, uh, building some custom plugins, hosting it. And um, yeah, that's it. I think you should, you should really consider this. Um, there's, I know plenty of million dollar businesses that has been built upon Magento development. So basically you can build a whole career by just building, implementing uh, Medusa.js stores or apps. Um, go check it out, add it to your toolkit. I think this is amazing um, or do whatever you want with it. That's it for today's video and see you on the next video. All right, bye.